Premier Comrade Mielenkov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. And their primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, Conrad, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. And the American people are not noticing? <laughs> nah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse. This new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be. Destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Uh oh. Now that can't be good. Whoa. Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's big. Of my exquisite mind 
into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. so miserable get down from there you think we cannot do this in Soviet Union Enjoy well last! Soviets are going to be a bigger headache than I thought. 
Understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. This Jopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much revelade as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orenchov. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pfft! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Jeez, Pox, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. I should have known. The drugs, the alcohol, the loose chicks, the signs, they were all there. It's obvious those hippies were trying to lure me in, so I'd let my guard down. Nice try, hippies. But I'm not just any mindless hedonist. I'm the best! Don't worry, Pox. I've got this covered. I'll wipe out every one of those bastards for what they did to my guns and you. Slow down, Crypto. I doubt hippies had much to do with ambushing you and destroying the mothership. Oh, damn. On the other hand, their brains don't provide much usable DNA anyway. So knock yourself out, if you're so inclined. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not! The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. 
Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. And I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. Okay, run this by me one more time. Focus, Crypto! Our very survival is at stake! Find this freak person, get him to tell you where the KGB are, then we'll see just how much they like surprises! Alright, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find our little hippie friend, the freak. The freak is supplying the whole damn commune at the park, and yet he still can't get any action. What a loser. The freak promised me some of the primo stuff if I visit him on the hill later on. He's kind of creepy, but I do love his fine Colombian. I hereby order you to take that out! Ah! I wonder where the freak went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. The freak promised me some of the primo stuff if I visit him on the hill later on. He's kind of creepy, but I do love his fine Colombian. Some of the primo stuff if I visit him on the hill later on. He's 
kind of creepy, but I do. I am king of the lizards. Go ahead and laugh, Squares. In ten years, I'm gonna start a computer company in San Jose and own your asses. Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Freak, in all your drug-induced visions, I'm sure you've gained much, uh, wisdom. Hey, I'm just trying to find me Camino, man. No different from you. But I've fried my share of brain cells, that's for sure. Super. Which is why I seek your, uh, well, for lack of a better word, let's uh, call it guidance. Right on, Seeker. What can I do you for? Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I cannot clone myself. How do I live a long and healthy life? Sex, sex, and more sex! And if you can't be with the one you love, honey, love the one you're with! Wow, you really are wise. Uh, got any tips for dealing with the ladies? Patience, love, mutual respect. Those are the ways to earn a woman's heart. Are you serious? You sound like Gloria freaking Steinem. Whoa, now, I'm a liberated man. What's with the heavy vibe, mama? What? Oh, oh, crap, I forgot I'm a chick. You're boring the love beads off of me here. Let, let, let's talk about something else. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater, which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah. So he's catnip to Las Gatas, eh, amigo? For sure! All the chicks really dig him the most. Up to them, Coyote Bongwater'd be running that commune like a king, which he practically is anyway. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bongwater? Well, from what I hear, he's kinda paranoid doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a, in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your in. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bongwater. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bonewater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that.
Johnson. Yeah, I, I want to put down 50 large on the Niners. I can cover that, sir. Have you seen that new bunch of hippies? They're of different kinds. Apparently. Could have fooled me. Yeah, me too, but there's this one group, the Yappies. That's a pretty stupid name for a group. They're hippies, what do you expect? Anyway, this group's led by a kid named Bully Bothman. That's a pretty stupid name for a leader. It's not his fault. He's a hippie. Everything's his fault. We backs at the Bijou tonight. Melvin, you sexy chocolate badass! Didn't I see you at Monterey Pop? Hanoi Jane, you are nam malicious. The dude abides. I take comfort in that. Yeah, I, I want to put down 50 large on the Niners. I can cover that, sir. Che Guevara is so foxy. If only I could wear him on a t-shirt. Nicholson is so foxy! Hmm, if only I could find a guy who talks like him! I am having same dream over and over. I am holding giant chili dog like Lance as I am jumping through enormous flying onion rings in space, one after another! What does it all mean? Only at Ciuta. And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. So eat a good breakfast. That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Then join us. We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm. Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Ah, 
pacifist. What a crumb. Perimeter breached! Get bong water out of here! Hurry! You are blocking my line of fire. Bong water is being in danger! Firing. Get him out of here! Now! Out of way! Shooting! Oh. <laughs>